Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Art Talk. So today I wanted to just read to you a little joke, but it also has some real meaning. Consider the case of the Illinois man who left the snow-filled streets of Chicago for a vacation in Florida. His wife was on a business trip and was planning to meet him there the next day. When he reached his hotel, he decided to send her a quick email. Unable to find the scrap of paper on which he'd written her email address, he did his best to type it in from memory. Unfortunately, he missed one letter, and his note was directed instead to an elderly preacher's wife whose husband had passed away only the day before. When the grieving widow checked her, her email, she took one look at the monitor Left out, let out a piercing scream and fell to the floor in a dead faint. At that sound, her family rushed into the room and saw this note on the screen. Dearest wife, just got checked in. Everything's prepared for your arrival tomorrow. P.S. Sure is hot down here. All right. So what is the moral of the story? What we say and who we say it to make a big difference. What we say and who we say it to make a big difference. And this is just, a, you know, I just kind of like chuckled at that, but it's also just so true in so many ways that how we say things to people can be perceived in, in just different ways. You just don't know what that true, maybe that, that real meaning is supposed to be, what who it was maybe even, even intended for, and it can have a certain consequence. And I think it's just something just to keep in mind for any factor of your life, no matter what you say, just to always be conscious. Sometimes to even maybe not say anything at all can make a, can make a big difference. We, we tend to sometimes get something, oh, we got to say this, and it might even be that thing that we think we're going to be helping someone out by, and we say these words to them and realize, oh my God, why did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. And it could be perceived by that individual in a different way. So it's just something to always be cautious of, I think. And just remember that not everything that is said to you has that bad intent or that bad intention. And to maybe look at things on a brighter side, because even in that, email, even in that uh, funny letter there, it's just like it had good intentions. It just went to the wrong person and the wrong message sort of came out. And I just thought it was an interesting, funny story, something to share, but something to ponder on, something to think about. And just choose your words wisely may be the, the lesson that we're really learning here. And just be careful where you say it when you put things out there because you could destroy friendships, relationships with people. I think it's a great lesson in being um, just conscious and aware, even though sometimes things can be a mistake, all right? This was a short one today, but thanks for watching. Make it a great week, and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.